Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS STTM programming. In this video, we will see an example on how to create trial inclusion exclusion criteria TI dataset. So for an example study of CHE 801. So let us go to the concept description of trial inclusion exclusion criteria dataset and then we will see the specification. So in every clinical trial, each patient will be enrolled into the study only if they meet pre-specified conditions mentioned in the study protocol. So these pre-specified conditions are called inclusion criteria and exclusion criteria. So subjects should meet all inclusion criteria to be eligible for enrollment. And similarly, subjects should not meet any exclusion criteria to be eligible for enrollment. Should meet all eligible uh, inclusion criteria, should not meet any exclusion criteria. So SDTM standard has a standard domain for capturing all the inclusion exclusion criteria specified in the protocol in a dataset called trial inc inclusion slash exclusion criteria, which is abbreviated as TI. And TI dataset has an expected record structure of one record per IE criterion. So what information is typically presented in TI dataset is study identifier, the domain name, inclusion exclusion criteria short name, and the full text description of the inclusion exclusion criteria, and inclusion exclusion category, and protocol criteria versions. So let us now move to the specification. So similar to our previous videos on other trial visit, trial design data sets of TE, TA and TV. So we will not have any formal specification for trial design domains. So we need to create it based on the information present in the protocol. So we are being asked to take a look at the lesson description for some of the aspects related to the study for creating our trial inclusion exclusion criteria data set. So let us now open lesson description and then see. So here we have been given the eligibility criteria from this hypothetical study. So here we have the inclusion criteria listed and the exclusion criteria listed. So the inclusion criteria is listed as below. A subject will be eligible for inclusion in this study only if all of the following criteria is met. So the conditions are the subject should be a male or female patient and they should be in between 18 and 70 years inclusive of 70 and 80 years of age which means if a participant is below 18 or above 70 they are not eligible. So the subject should have active ulcerative colitis confirmed by colonoscopy. So this is a diagnostic requirement and that the subject should have met in order to be eligible for the study. And then the third inclusion criteria is the patient is able and willing to comply with the requirements of this trial protocol. And then we have set of exclusion criteria that are specified and it said a subject will not be eligible for inclusion in this study if any of the following criteria apply. So if the participant is pregnant or a breastfeeding woman or if there is any contraindication to colonoscopy, so which is a diagnostic procedure. So if the subjects are contraindicated, which means they are not able to withstand the procedure, so they will not be eligible for participating in the study and allergies, allergies to any component of CSG 801. So this is a hypothetical study in which a hypothetical drug called CSG 801 is being tested. So and the formulation of a CSG 801 could com contain multiple ingredients. So say for example, along with the active component of the drug, you may have some additional adjuvants if it is an injection. So in the form of like uh, stabilizing agents and other things. So if the subject is having allergies to any of the component that would be present in the final uh, formulation of this CSG 801, they would not be eligible for this to participate in the study. So we have three inclusion criteria and three exclusion criteria. So we would have a row for each of the 
each of these criteria three rows for each of the three rows for inclusion criteria and three rows for exclusion criteria so we'll now see how to create it let's go to the sas program so again similar to the previous trial design domain examples of tri trial elements trial arms and trial visits so some programmers prefer capturing the ti criteria in an excel file and then import it in a sas program and others directly hard code the inclusion exclusion criteria within the sas program so we are using the second approach here so we have seen that as part of the concept what are the variable that would be required so we will need study id domain ie test cd ie test ie cat and the version of the protocol so the abbreviation for this hypothetical study is csg801 so we are using it in study id variable and then as this domain is of trial inclusion exclusion criteria and the standard abbreviation for it is ti so we are using that text ti in domain variable so there can be cases wherein your inclusion exclusion criteria could vary between different versions of the protocol within a study so in that case so you would if the inclusion exclusion criteria vary across different protocol versions so you would replicate the inclusion exclusion criteria rows for each of the versions of the protocol so here we are assuming that this is the first version of the protocol so we are using the version as one here so and if the inclusion exclusion criteria does not change between different versions of the protocol so we can just leave the ti version as null so ti version is version one so we are assuming that this is version one of the protocol and then assigning that text to ti version variable and then we are creating rows for inclusion exclusion criteria inclusion criteria first and then followed by exclusion criteria so here if you see we have ie cat is being assigned as inclusion so as we are going to define inclusion criteria rows here and then for the first criteria that was mentioned in the protocol we are using a short name of incl which 01 so incl stands for inclusion so 01 is the first criteria specified in the protocol so that condition was male and female patients with 18 to 70 years inclusive years of age so we have created a row for the first criteria and we have used the short name of incl01 and then outputting that record and then creating the next row for the second inclusion criteria specified in the protocol which was active ulcerative colitis confirmed by colonoscopy so and for this as this is the second inclusion criteria specified in the protocol we are using a short name of incl02 and then outputting that record and then similarly we are creating a row for the third inclusion criteria using the short name of incl03 typically we will use the number the same as in our uh, in the same order as defined in the protocol to avoid confusion so the patient and the third criteria was the patient is able and willing to comply with the requirements of this trial protocol and then we are outputting that record now next we are doing here is we are creating rows for our exclusion criteria so we are assigning the ie cat value as exclusion and then creating the first exclusion criteria row with the short name of exel01 so exel is being used as a short form for exclusion and then as this is the first condition so we have used a suffix of 01 the first condition for exclusion was pregnant or breastfeeding women so we are creating that row with the values in IATS CD and IE test and then similarly we are creating rows for our second exclusion criteria and third exclusion criteria and outputting the rows so we will now see how the output data set will look like once we create it this way so we had three inclusion criteria so we have created those three rows and then three exclusion criteria so we have created rows for those and then we have used the prefix of incl in the short name and then use the same number 
as defined uh, as the defined order for inclusion criteria in the suffix for IE test CD value. Similarly, we have used the prefix of EXCL for IE test CD for exclusion criteria and the number corresponding to the exclusion criteria order present in the protocol. So we have used TA version as version 1 as these are the inclusion exclusion criteria corresponding to version 1 of the protocol. So this is how you can create your trial inclusion exclusion criteria based on the information present in study protocol. Thank you for watching and keep learning.